Welcome back. Nice to be with you. Of course, you're watching news with me on SABC News. Now, we're going to change gears a little bit. When browsing the internet, users typically come across a secure pop-up on most internet browsers. However, this does not always mean that this browser is 100% safe. And as a result, internet users may face an increased risk to various potential threats, such as privacy concerns, cyber stalking, and identity theft, to name but a few of the threats. This is according to Celeste Betendach, underwriter at SHA, specialist underwriters, who says that it is very important that people know exactly what to look out for when browsing the internet in order to avoid falling victim to internet scams like hacking or even phishing. Usually when you see that secure signal, it means that the connection between the browser and the website you are connected to is encrypted. It doesn't necessarily mean that this domain is safe, trusted or non-malicious. Now, we're lucky to have Celeste Soft with us in studio this morning to discuss this a little bit further. Very good morning to you, Celeste. Good morning. Celeste, just give me an, uh, your, a quick professional overview. What mm -hmm. a secure pop-up actually means when you're browsing the internet and, and how do you kind of secure yourself for that matter? Okay, great. So there are two types of protocols. The one is HTTP mm -hmm. and there's no S at the end. Yeah. That means that it is not necessarily secure. When there is an S, that means it is secure and it is encrypted. So um, there also goes into two um, verifications. The one is SSL verification, which is that just means that the domain name has been, been verified. It does not mean that it's been checked that the actual company is registered to that domain name. Mm. So there is a further ver verification where the ver verification company will actually go in and look and call either the company mm. or check that it's actually registered at the jurisdiction um, of the actual com company where it's domiciled. And me sitting at home uh, on the net, how do I make sure that I'm secure uh, and that I actually kind of mm. know what to look out for? So great. So on your browser, in front of the actual website address it will either say mm -hmm. https and then you can actually click down and it will show you the dialogue it will say mm -hmm. if it has been verified and how it has been verified so and, and and when it has been additionally verified it will actually say the name of the company in front yeah. of the actual website we're living in the time of increased cyber attacks so not just in south africa mm. but around the world uh, as an underwriter in this space what, what what is that space like right now well, we are seeing an increased um, awareness and hack attacks actually happening. So every week I'm receiving phone calls on actual um, ransomware attacks where people are coming into the offices, turning on their computers, mm. trying to turn on their computers and actually getting a notice saying that their computers are locked and then unless they actually pay the ransomware, they won't be able to access their systems or their data. Mm. Um, we're also receiving a lot of calls from attorneys where there's actually been fraudulent um, payments between mm -hmm. the where there's been an email and there's been a hack attack where they've intercepted the email and where they've actually um, changed the, the payment details. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for people to actually check with the attorneys or with the company before they make a payment mm -hmm. into the systems and not relying merely on the emails. Mm. Do South Africans know enough before they get onto the net these days? Because it's a bit of a lottery, is it? People, mm. are, we, are we still a little bit ignorant about what we should know? Yes, definitely. We are a little bit ignorant and there is an increasing dependency mm -hmm. upon the internet. So it is important that companies are creating awareness with their employees and that people themselves are taking responsibility for what they're looking at and whether they know mm -hmm. what they're looking at or for on, on the internet. As an underwriter, what are your main concerns with regards to what's happening online right now? Is it things like privacy concerns or, 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 or are we talking about phishing and identity theft or that kind of thing, that's probably more an individual concern, isn't it? Yes, so at the moment, the, the biggest threat is ransomware. It's happening across the globe and it's mm -hmm. happening on a regular basis. Then it also is data where people are actually, the data theft and identity theft. Mm -hmm. And um, we are also seeing an increase of um, actual replication of websites and phishing attacks where people are sending emails mm -hmm. to people and then people are clicking on malicious links. It's very important for people to ensure that they actually rather put in the address themselves in the browser than click on a, on a link directly. For us in the news business, of course, fake mm. news and, and fake mm. websites and, and this kind of thing is, is kind of killing us <laughs> at the moment. In the sort of underwriting mm. world, are you also seeing a lot of these kind of fake websites with fake information that are leading mm -hmm. people down the garden path. Exactly, that's exactly what people are doing and how they're doing that is they're registering the domain names and they're not being verified. So that's why it's important for the additional 
um, verification to be done mm. where, they, where it's then checked whether that website is actually 100% accurate and not merely a registered domain name. And, and what would your key tips then be for users to safeguard themselves against this mm. and other criminal activities online? The first thing is to ensure that your operating systems are updated, that your viruses and your patches on your software is updated. Even with the recent malware attack that took place, it was due to the actual vulnerabilities of not updating your systems. It's very easy for people when they would like to leave work and yeah. they're in a rush to leave to, to miss the traffic, that when it says, please do not shut down your computer until the update is done, that people will just close yeah. the laptop and, and leave. And it's very important that you actually wait and that mm. your systems are updated to prevent those vulnerabilities. Then it's also very important to be vigilant with your emails. Mm -hmm. People get these phishing emails where there's spelling errors, where it, it lo looks a little bit absurd, and people think, yeah. why would you even think I would reply to that? But people are replying to those emails, yeah. and actually, they actually intended for, for certain individuals. They're yeah. aimed at the people who will respond to that, because then yeah. they know that they're going to go from cradle to grave, be able to get all the information that they need from those people. Where certain people who would pick it up, they would, they would then stop, and they would be aware. But they're aimed at people who would actually respond to these emails. Are we really that gullible online still? Yes, people are definitely very gullible online still. Wow. It happens on a regular basis. Talk to me about good browsing habits other than the ones that we just touched on briefly, but mm. it, what would be sort of good habits for me to, for me or for anyone watching to kind of get into online? Mm. Well, it's very important to know what you're looking for and to, to know what you're looking at. And then um, to actually to, to type it in yourself as mm -hmm. well, to, to, and to look at what, you, what the actual browser says. Mm -hmm. Often it'll just be a slight digit or a letter that's changed or mm -hmm. words, word that's changed, and then to, 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 to be vigilant in what you're actually looking at. Cyber insurance, yes. is, uh, is, is what's your advice? Should we all have cyber attack cover? Yes, because anybody could be attacked if you have a a, a cell phone, if you have a laptop, if you have an email address, you mm -hmm. are vulnerable. So every single person should, should actually have insurance as a, as a risk transfer. And, and, and how should people go about making sure that they're covered? Uh, um, who are the reputable sources like yourself, maybe, that people yes. should look at? Yes, there are a few insurers in, in South Africa that are offering this type of coverage. Mm. A lot of people aren't aware of that cover. But it is something that is becoming more topical and people, you know, you just have to ask your broker and your broker mm -hmm. will, will direct you to. Are insurance. you more likely to be robbed online than on the streets in the world of today? That's a tough one, um, but probably yes. Maybe not in, in, in South Africa, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, yes, it is. There, it is on a more global scale and yeah. there, are, there are thousands and thousands of hackers out there. Yeah, it's easy money, it seems. Easy money for hackers with so... So many of mm. us not even having good habits online. We just, we just do what we do. Celeste, thank you for coming in today thank and talking to us about that. That's Celeste Batendach. She's an underwriter at SHA, specialist underwriters, and you have to secure yourself online. You can even get some insurance if you really, really want to cover yourself. We all should live in that time. We're going to take a short break.